Morning everyone, I hope everyone's had a really awesome week so far. So the boat building news roundup for this week. So the Florida based manufacturer, distributor and marketer of power sport boats, Twin V Power Cats, has announced plans to introduce a redesigned 22 foot bay cat boat in early 2025. So the new model is going to be available in two versions. So you've got the 220 Bay Cat GFX2 and the 220 Bay Cat SDX. So the 220 Bay Cat measuring 22 feet in length with a 9 inch beam and a 16 inch draft features Twin V signature twin catamaran hull design. So it's engineered to be easily towable and suitable for various water conditions from tight channels and flats to offshore use on calm days. So the boat will be powered by a single outboard motor ranging from 140 to 200 horsepower. So standard features include a fishable deck, bow storage, raw water washed out and a 36 gallon fuel capacity. And then you're going to have additional options which vary between the GFX2 and the SDX models, but potentially including bow cushion seating, um, underwater lights, 9 inch multifunction display with sonar capabilities and a T-top with rod holders capabilities and a t-top with rod holders and volvo penta has launched joystick surfing which is a new feature for wake boats that builds upon its existing joystick driving technology so this system is designed for use with volvo penta's twin forward drive on gasoline powered boats and integrates with the water sports control display to enhance the user's experience in surf mode so this news comes just weeks after Volvo Penta announced the release of its new helm to propeller hybrid electric package, a fully integrated system that includes advanced drive modes and intelligent features. So Volvo Penta says its new joystick surfing feature allows the operator to control the boat without needing the steering wheel or the throttle. So this feature will provide precise single hand maneuvering, offering enhanced control at both lower and higher speeds. So particularly useful for managing wake surfing conditions. So the system is designed to work in surf mode, so where users can select their surf profile and activate the joystick to begin. It, imp it provides improved maneuverability at lower speeds, additional control over steering, throttle and gear during regular cruising. So the system is designed with ergonomics in mind, so featuring a joystick positioned on the armrest of the driver's seat. So this placement enables the operator to make course corrections easily while remaining completely aware of the surfer. The system features safety features such as an automatic neutral position if the joystick is released in reverse. So joystick surfing is paired with Volvo Penta's twin forward drive system, offering the maneuverability, quick acceleration and powerful thrust. So this technology enables the system to be applied to larger boats as well, which can accommodate more passengers and create larger wakes. And RS Sailing has launched the RS Cat 12, a new catamaran designed to simplify multi-hole sailing for beginners, training centres and families. So this boat designed to fill a market gap for an accessible entry point into catamaran sailing. So it's going to complement the company's existing RS Cat 16 and Cat 14 models. So the RS Cat 12 features several design elements for ease of use and safety. So these will include a furling job, a reefing mainsail and mast head float. So front grab handles and kick up rudders facilitate launching and beaching while the RS patented hull gully allows for easy lifting of the entire boat. The boat's design emphasises comfort and versatility. It features concave seating on the hull and a trampoline seating area accommodating up to three sailors. The self-draining design adds to its user-friendly nature. A single trapeze can also be included as an optional extra. Hope everyone's got an awesome weekend planned and I'll catch up with you next week.